is it? Look, it's sunny in London, so we have forced everyone to come outside and film because we want to prove that we get sunshine in England. Um, but I'm with Annie, and we're talking all about The Last of Us Remastered, and I've got your community questions. So I went through back through the last video, I pulled as many questions uh, as possible, and we're going to go through some. And I have some bonus fun ones as well. Oh, excellent. Okay, you ready? Can't wait. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start with Andy Pone would like to know, uh, how hard was the transition from PS3 to PS4 in terms of production and sort of remaking the game? It was, on some aspects, it was easier uh, than our jump from PS2 to PS3 um, because we had to build an engine from scratch. In this case, we were able to iteratively move our PS3 engine to PS4, but um, there were some challenges in the way. Uh, we were so bound to the SPUs and the PS3 architecture for a lot of the stuff that we did with The Last of Us that um, you know, we couldn't just transfer it all over. We had to actually uh, redo a lot of that stuff just to make it work the same way. So there's some better, there's some easy parts and there's some challenging parts. Yeah, that's quite good. Uh, Neil Mortimer would like to know, uh, and is the Left Behind DLC integrated seamlessly into the main story or uh, is it separate from the side story like in the original? It's just like the original, so it's a separate menu option. Uh, it is unlocked from the start, so if you, if you have played the PS3 version, um, and so therefore it's not spoiling anything for you when you play Left Behind, uh, you can actually jump straight into Left Behind if you want. Okay, right, uh, Burrito Tester would like to know, will the multiplayer stats carry over from PS3 to PS4? Uh, unfortunately they're not, the multiplayer is completely separate, but we do recognize that if you have played multiplayer on the PS3 version, you'll get a supply bonus on your PS4 uh, account. Okay, so you get some kind of extras for yeah. playing both. Okay, um, Sawblood45, charming, uh, would like to know, does the game have a making of documentary? Uh, well, we have a day one patch that's coming out. Okay. And there's two things that day one patch is adding. One of them is a screenshot tool that uh, I think everyone's sort of pretty excited about. Oh, it's so Very pretty. similar to the infamous one. And on that too, on the day one patch, um, the grounded behind the scenes yeah. documentary, which is our full length making of documentary, uh, you'll be able to actually watch that as well. It'll be in the video options in the menu. Oh, there you go, something else for you to watch. Okay. Um, here we go. Yuchata Itachi would like to know, will we be able to play with PS3 players? So I'm assuming he means multiplayer. Yeah, and multiplayer. Uh, unfortunately, those two uh, will be separate. Um, so all the PS4 players will be in their own pool and the PS3 players will be in their own pool as well. Probably not bad if you're kind of new maybe to PS4 and this is the first time you've played. So at least you're not going to go straight onto the yeah. maps. <laughs> and I mean, there's I mean, there's also like uh, visual differences in terms of like how we're hitting 60 now and the previous ones are 30. Yeah. So I know that some people are going to be like, well, the 60 frame per second players are going to have an advantage. It's all of that. So this is a good way of keeping a level playing field. Yeah, I like it. Okay, that leads on to uh, Samuel Leon's next question, which is, is the multiplayer 60 frames per second? Multiplayer is 60 frames per second. The entire game, both single player and multiplayer, will both run at 60 frames. There you go. There, you can take that quote, you can bank it, it'll all be in the comment <laughs> section. Wonderful. Okay, Dreadhead said, um, did The Last of Us ever bring you to a dark place emotionally when you were kind of creating the game? Uh, I don't know about a dark place, but uh, The Last of Us really has emotional ups and downs. Um, I don't probably not very many people that haven't cried towards the beginning of the game. The first um, half an hour yeah, is... Yeah, it's, it's really uh, intense. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I, th I think between all the ups and downs, I mean, you definitely feel it. Um, I think the, the guys and, you know, the Troy and Ashley that put the voices together and Neil wrote a really great script that really uh, bring out the emotion in you. So, I don't know about Dark Place, I think, you know, there are times where it's been really tough on us uh, when we're playing through the game and there's times, uh, you know, we feel better. There's pr some pretty amazing things to look at, um, some interesting character development. So, kind of all over the place. Okay, I like it. Okay, um, Martin would like to know, will there be a special EQ setting for the wireless stereo headset? Uh, well, we were try we, I think we ended up supporting it on the PS3, so we're going to look into um, special settings for that. And actually, in the uh, audio settings for uh, The Last of Us Remastered, um, there's some expanded audio settings now, so okay. depending on if you have surround sound or a headset or your TV, um, this is way beyond my capabilities, but you can like change <laughs> like the angle of deflection the speakers are to you, so you can get like an appropriate soundscape. I don't know too much about that. That's not my area of expertise, but you've got some options already built in that weren't available on the PS3 version. Wow, I like it. Okay, right, next we have Admiral HD. Uh, has making the remastered version of The Last of Us had an impact on the in uh, development of Uncharted 4? Uh, it has in a way. I mean, one of the reasons we did want to do uh, The Last of Us remastered is it helped us test our PS4 engine and our tools pipeline that we've been working on for Uncharted 4. Uh, and one of the best ways to do that is to put a full game out. Uh, and we had, since we basically had a full game ready to do that, um, it helped us make some advances on our PS4 engine development. So uh, in the long run, it will help us on Uncharted 4. 
come back and ask me after Uncharted 4 is out and we'll see if I can tell you what they are. We will. We will. We'll be back. I'm sure of it. I hope it. you forget. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Ben Stewart would like to know, is The Last of Us going to be uh, the next series after Uncharted 4? And will there be any links between the two franchises? Sneaky! Yeah, I know. Basically, is there going to be a sequel? Yeah, but so I, I can read between the lines a little bit there. Um, I mean, I, you know, I'm going to fall back to something that we say all the time at Naughty Dog um, when we get asked for sequels, and it's, you know, when we we try to create create every story as a self-contained story, um, so it doesn't have to continue as a franchise. And I know there's a lot of debate whether people want Last of Us to continue, and for us, it, it really comes down to if we can tell a story that we're excited about, that we think is interesting, and we're able to wrap it up in an interesting uh, gameplay package, uh, then we will keep on working on that. If we don't feel that way, then we'll let it go. Um, right now, it's a little too early for us to figure that out because we are working on Uncharted. Okay, like it. Okay, uh, Anthony would like to know, uh, has the Naughty Dog team ever been too nervous to announce a new game because so much is expected of you? Um, I, you know, we get jitters every time we announce a game, every time we show the game publicly. I mean, even after doing like a whole campaign where we've been showing screenshots and video and hands-on to people, we release a game, we still get some of the jitters because, <laughs> you know, we only know what we feel inside the studio. And, you know, we know we work on something great and like sometimes you feel like, you know, you're working on something special, but you never know how the public at large and how our community is going to come across with it. So we're always a little nervous about how that comes across. Okay, finally, um, I had to finish with this one, Geordie, so it's your question. Who would win in a fight, Nathan Drake or Joel? Uh, this, by the way, was Hot Topic Inside when I mentioned it to the team. Everyone kind of has a different idea. Yeah, we had a big debate about this. Um, you know, I think, I think they're both, they're both going to like maybe try to approach each other, and Nathan Drake's going to make a wise crack, and it's going to totally catch Joel off guard. And Joel's going to be like, yeah, but can you craft like a spiked baseball bat? And Drake's like, no. And I think they're going to end up being friends because they're going to learn a little bit from each other. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's a non-answer for you. <laughs> That's the best non-answer ever. Thank you so much. There you go. Those are the community questions that we have uh, for the incredible Last of Us Remastered and from the wonderful studio Naughty Dog. So thank you so much for your time. No problem. You guys can stay tuned to the channel because we'll have loads more coming up from just everything PlayStation.